Well, good morning. I'm back at it again. I didn't plow an awful lot yesterday, but um, got a good start. So, we'll, we'll see what we can do to get a little more plowed. Okay, I'm going to explain a couple things here. Um, this is a piece of ground that I had in corn last year. Um, it uh, was picked, I picked it for ear corn. So that means all the stalks stayed on the field. And other years, I've picked corn for years, and but I've always used a trailer plow. I actually had a one bottom trailer plow that I used three horses on and it worked good. Um, and so I would plow around around the field. So whatever way I picked in, that would be the way I plowed. So I'd always pick uh, clockwise. So I needed to plow clockwise. Yes, so that as I'm plowing, all the stalks are laying down like this because I've knocked them over as I picked so as I come along with the plow since the stalks are laying this way and I'm plowing like this to the right it will cover those stalks up real easily if you attempt to plow corn stalks the opposite way what happens is you'll hit these stalks and they'll pop up sometimes and they just don't plow under quite as well. Um, so what I did last fall, since I knew I was going to be plowing this way, is I took my, I've got an old um, bush hog and I just ran over this corn ground with the bush hog. It didn't do a perfect job by no means of knocking, of breaking it up, but it did at least get a lot of it. But still I have a lot of corn stalks that are popping up and that's because of I'm plowing it. Some of these corn stalks are getting hit the wrong way and they're actually popping them up. So in some ways it looks like a poor plowing job but in other ways I'm not at all concerned because this will all disc down and and harrow up fine. Um, the a few, this will be seeded down to grass seed this spring. So um, a few corn stalks sticking through won't hurt a thing. Um, so that is my, that's what's gonna happen here in this field. And that's one reason why there is so many corn stalks still sticking out after I plowed. When I was plowing the other way, I could pretty well bury everything. There's hardly anything showing, but um, like I said, I'm not at all concerned about that. Um, over here, my cornfield ended right over here and this was all sod last summer and I plowed last fall starting here over to that section there. Um, I really like fall plowed ground. It just over the course of the winter just 
mellow, I mean, just, it just lays nice and it's gonna take very little work to be ready to plant this either in corn or in hay ground. I haven't quite decided yet what I'm gonna do. I might, the corn field would definitely be hay ground that I'll new seeding and I might bring it over into this field a little ways and then actually plow a little bit more this spring. Just depends on the time and how much time I've got. Um, this, if this weather holds up, I can start disking this field um, right off. And if I do that, these early green sprouts that are popping through will be knocked down very early. And uh, that will be great. I do have some, a few stones to pick up here, not too many. I'm hoping that I can show you some spots in this field. There's a few stones up top here. It's hard to catch it on camera, but I'm hoping to maybe catch some of that on camera so you'll see how the spring leaf works and how it pops up over a stone. But that's just kind of by chance if I can catch it. So anyways, we'll continue plowing.